All right, I know I've not filmed in a while, but this is the only table where I film everything. Not only this, but also my videos for my main channel. So check out my main channels down below in the description box and in the comments. Um, but I'm working on getting a separate table so I can have everything always set out. And I've had so many, so many crafts and projects going on. My table was full, but I cleared it off today. And I'm here. So we're going to be reading with my Shadowland Lenormand. It is my absolute favorite deck. I am attached to this deck. I use it every single day. I also have here three gemstone hearts. We have an amethyst, we have a rose quartz, we have a beautiful labradorite, which I absolutely love. I love this stone. So what we're going to do is, as we have done in past videos, I want you to concentrate on these stones here. Whichever one you feel pulled to, that reading is going to be for you. If you feel pulled towards more than one, that's fine. You might just need to hear a lot of information. If you don't feel drawn or pulled to any of them, then guess what? This reading isn't for you. I want to squeak my chair here. This reading isn't for you and um, just move along. So anyway, sit here and look at these. Concentrate on them. Pause the video if you need to and then come back when you're ready. All right, so moving on with our rose quartz people here. I've got a eucalyptus candle going. First off, I lit this eucalyptus incense. And then I'm like, I would like to have a candle. I've got glue on my hands from earlier. But I was like, I want to light a candle. And I just grabbed a eucalyptus candle. So somebody out there have a cold or something? Because, <laughs> you know, eucalyptus is good for that. So our rose quartz here. Let's see what these have to say for you. I like to shuffle and pull the cards on camera so you can see me actually doing it. Okay, mountain. So you're coming up against an obstacle here. Something that is probably going to be a little bit difficult for you to scale. It could be in a relationship, could be business, could be anything. Don't know until we pull a few more of these. Hopefully it will give us some clarification. So let's see. As always, if the cards take a while to come out, I will speed the video up through that process so that the video is not real long and you don't have to sit here staring at me shuffling cards. So if the video speeds up, that's fine. All right, so this situation could be involving a man. <laughs> this could be a love reading. Because the guy came out here. So this guy, is he causing you trouble in your relationship? Is your relationship suffering right now? Or it could be work-related. Is your boss giving you a hard time? Because see how he's sort of like levitating off the ground? Could be a man that is older than you or someone that you perceive to be in a higher position than you. You need not to rush into a situation. Okay? Now, you may have been feeling that... Things have been a little bit difficult lately, and you might look at this person and thinking, oh, he can solve all of my problems. But you need to not rush into a situation with him or a career move if this is, you know, representing your boss or someone above you. Let's move this back a little bit. Okay. So don't rush into that. Because see how this little guy here is looking forward? You're not. You're sitting there. You're looking behind you. You're not looking forward. You have no idea what's coming. You're kind of oblivious to it. Now, usually I pull only three cards because that's the number that feels comfortable to me. But you know what? I feel like I need to do four tonight for some reason. Okay, let's do four. This person is not who they seem to be. They're hiding something from you, okay? You see how she is holding this chicken? She has her arm around it. She likes this chicken. This chicken's her friend, right? Now look at Mr. Fox over here, who's sitting up here, tall, looming. Once again, he could be in a position higher than you, or you perceive him to be in a position that is higher than you, or he could be older than you, looking down on you. With this mask, he's not who he seems. So if this is a relationship-type situation that you're asking about in Rose Quartz, this is a stone of love. It could be a relationship that we're talking about here. So you do have some obstacles still coming up with this man. Well, this is a this is a masculine here. 
Don't rush into any situation for him because he's not who he seems. He's put on a facade. It's a mask. And when as tall as he is up here, when that mask falls off, it is going to make a thud. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you just need to be careful. Okay? Just, just be cautious. Be careful. And it may not even be anything malicious that this person is hiding. It could just be maybe an addiction they have. It could be an aspect of their personality that they really don't want anybody to find out about. It could be an odd quirk. It could be anything. But the thing is, they're not who they perceive or, you know, project themselves to be. So be careful. All right. So if you chose this beautiful amethyst, then this reading here is going to be for you. Okay. My amethyst people. Give me some cards for my amethyst people here. You do have a cold. Pretend like you can smell this incense and this candle it really smells like some eucalyptus up in here tonight <laughs> so, um okay i think this is going to turn out for this one to be a love reading as well your heart you're not a very grounded person when it comes to love you like to fly around with your head in the clouds your heart bless your heart your heart has been banged up quite a bit quite a bit but you've not let go of love yet because you see how you're still holding on to it you believe in love you know that love is out there and love is a very difficult word for me to say it feels like i'm choking when i say it <laughs> so just know that this is uncomfortable for me but it's all scarred up it has some stitching on it you're holding it together endings it could be an ending to a cycle it could be an ending to the cycle of brokenheartedness the end of a cycle of hurt. So going to be some information coming in for you regarding this situation. You need to do your due diligence. Whoever it is that you are thinking about right now, whoever it is that you have on your heart right now, you really need to research the situation, research into this person. Okay. Because he's, he's sitting there in the dark. Looks like it's raining outside. To me, that looks like a window. Looks like it's raining outside. He may have been going through a difficult situation. And the light is not on here, okay? The light is not on. So you haven't really shed light on this situation here. I think you need to do a little bit of investigating. That's what I think. I'm not saying that this person has something to hide. I'm not saying that this person is, you know, a, a cheat or you know, is involved in something they shouldn't be. But, you know, when it comes to matters of the heart, do you see how banged up it is? <laughs> you need to be more careful. Bear. So the bear, when you think about the bear, you think about mama bear. So someone here is very protective of you, or this could be you are very protective of this heart up here because she's holding on to that heart for dear life. <sighs> so, yeah, there's a lot of hurt here. You can see the bones here. There's been some pain. There has been hurt. That's why you're so guarded. But it's coming to an end. It's all coming to an end. I'm going to drink some coffee here in a second. My throat's burning. It's all coming to an end. You just need to do your due diligence. Really look into this situation. And you're going to avoid this with this person or this upcoming person, this next person that is coming in. And it could be a person that you haven't even met yet. This new person that is coming in is going to be the one to break these cycles here and bring about an ending. But you really just need to do your research into this person be protective still protect yourself okay all right so here in the beautiful blue ridge mountains of north carolina the pollen is really starting to pile up out there and usually i don't have problems with pollen but it's really bothering my throat so i had to get something to drink now for those of you that chose this beautiful labradorite heart here let's see what they have to say for you now that is the stone of creation so let's see if this will be a business reading or another love reading. Everything seems to be related or revolving around relationships today. It is, um, once again, okay, look here. <laughs> Everybody's got problems. <laughs> Everybody. Oh my gosh, I pulled this card for myself earlier. I pulled it for someone else. And now I'm pulling it in this video. It was funny. You, you have some obstacles coming up. We don't know what it's for. It, oh, hello. You have... Oh, boy. Okay. Snake. Don't listen to this, snakes. I got two um, ball pythons over here, and I love them to death. So. <laughs> All right. But anyway, snake. Someone is talking behind your back. 
Somebody does not have your best interest at heart. You're minding your own business. See, you're sitting down here, you're minding your own business. And this, this person is just looming. They're looming. They could be the person that's causing you this obstacle, okay? So, oh, I don't like holding the cards that way. I like holding them this way. Um, hmm, is it a co-worker that's causing you problems? It could be a very hectic work situation. It could be a very hectic personal life situation. Someone causing you problems in your home or work life. Because you see this house here? Look how complicated that looks. There's just so much going on. And that person right there is responsible for it. So someone around you is not being truthful. Someone is trying to cause you these issues. Let's see if we can figure out who that may be or what it is centered around. That's, mm. I hate when I pull the snake card because you know what? Not all readings are going to be good. Not all are going to be absolutely wonderful. I get a lot of people get mad at me because, well, that was a bad ring. No, it's not. You know, it's, you know, it's what you needed to hear. But there is nothing that comes out in these cards that you can overcome, okay? That you can't get past. It's just a tool. The cards are just a tool. Just to bring clarity. Okay, moon. Okay, so the moon here, somebody's jealous of you. You seem to be well regarded in your profession. You might have a good career. You might be getting a promotion or have gotten a promotion that someone else thinks that they should have gotten. Hmm. And they're trying to cause problems for you. They are causing, and it's like their energy is causing that this hecticness. So I feel like this is related to work. I don't feel like this is related to your home life. I feel like this is more career oriented and you're going to be recognized for, for your hard work and for your contributions to your workplace. But you, you've got to figure out who this person is. And this is aggravating. So you need to figure out who this person is. You need to be careful. Okay, you see how he's minding his own business? Keep minding your own business. But also keep your ears open. Keep your eyes open. And, and see if you can figure out who this snake is that's behind you. Because they're trying to cause you problems. And it's just jealousy. It's because you're awesome. They're jealous of it. And you know what? It's, it's not going to last. They'll fall. They always do. The haters and the trolls always fall. So... Take that how you see it. Anyway, I hope that this helps somebody. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all later.